I am making my spinach manicotti with lemon. You can make manicotti with tomato sauce, obviously, it's delicious. Um, but I am making a spinach manicotti with lemon. Ooh. It's kind of cheesy, ricotta-y, and it's baked. You can make the whole thing in advance and just throw it in the oven when you feel like it. You just start with some hot cream. I'm not gonna make a roux or do anything, you know, just cream with a little finely grated Parmigiano-Reggiano, a tiny dash of Worcestershire, and an even smaller dash of hot sauce. You don't even know, no, you don't even know they're there. So literally, as far as I'm concerned, whisking a little grated cheese, super salty, into cream, your sauce is thick enough. I'm over the roux. I'm through with the roux, you You're, know what I'm saying? Yeah. So one egg, just lightly whisk with a pinch of salt right into some ricotta. If your ricotta is kind of wet, you can drain it, right, of any excess liquid. We're literally just making our filling, and it's okay to mix the egg in, obviously, because we're baking it, right? I made a whole ba a huge batch of, uh, a lot of batches, actually, of ricotta this summer. Uh, fresh? Yeah, fresh. It's so easy to make. I didn't realize how easy it was. Okay. One egg, ricotta, and again, just grated mm -hmm. cheese. Any kind of cheese? I like to use Pecorino Romano here. Okay. Yeah. Or Parmigiano flavor. Reggiano, anything with that nice salt factor. So far, this, this is a very straightforward filling. Yes. You're going straight down the middle here, right? Lemon zest, mm -hmm. and I grated deeper on the lemon to get a little bit of that bitter pith underneath, Oof. which can give it another flavor, which I love. Wow. And fresh tarragon. There you oh, go. There you go. There we just, we the, just... There's the deviation. And the lemon juice. In with the ricotta, tarragon, and that cheese. And this is really, and it's nice and thick. You've got that egg in there, making sure it's like a little insurance policy that it holds together. And you just want to mix this nice and easy. Now, I've got some fresh sautéed spinach here, and I'm going to mix yeah. that in. I'm saving a little bit of the sautéed and drained spinach to top when we're Is finished. That, do you season the spinach? You put salt on it? Sautéed and a little bit of olive oil, salt, pepper. That's so it. it's its own animal when it goes in there, you know? All right, and half a teaspoon of ground allspice. Ooh, ooh, that's a lovely touch. A little bit like when you put that tiny dash of nutmeg and cream spinach. Yes. Right, the warm spice just wakes it up a little bit, but you don't even really know it's there. It's that, why is this so much better than what I made? And the answer is, because I watch the kitchen and I make what they make. And then we just literally fill and go. Alex, can you make these ahead of time and freeze them? You can totally make them ahead and freeze them, but there's a lot of dairy in here, right? There's cheese, oh, there's ricotta. Yeah. So you want to really wrap them tightly because these will take on any other aromas of anything around them in the freezer. So could you lay them on a flat in a sheet pan and wrap it up really, really? Because this is great to like. That's you great. could freeze them right like this, yeah, hold right up. Now. Great, just shove it in the oven, right? Oh, easy. So you just breezy. roll it over, and then you know, it's almost like I always say it's like you're an eagle and you're landing on a branch. Caca! on a cliff, right? Oh, and you just give it the, oh, you kind of liked it, come on. It wasn't my line, that's why I don't like it that much. And you just squeeze and roll it over and you let it sit on its seam so the weight of it seals it shut and you're done. So how how far did you blanch those? So everybody at home is saying, well, did, are they fully cooked or are they half cooked? These are, this is fresh pasta, so I only cooked it for two, three minutes. But it's still, as a bite to it, right? Oh, yeah, okay. it's not fully it's cooked. Important, it's got right? a little because... al dente bite. Okay. I totally agree. And then to assemble this, right, once you make this cheese sauce and you just let it cool, it thickens more as it cools. So we would just put a little on the bottom here, oh. layer them all up, oh. roll them all up, and then here's a finished one. We just put the sauce on over top, right? That's Reminder, right. the cheese, right? That and a cream. Cut. The cheese, the cream, this is making me so hungry, right? All, all over top, right? Can you just imagine this baking and bubbling away in the oven? I mean, I'm stop imagining it. there's one in there now. Yeah, I, I yeah. don't think I need to stretch I my need, imagination. I, I need a bite right, right away. So I'm going to put this in the oven and bake it for about 15 to 20 minutes at 350 degrees. Ooh. Ooh. So good, right? Yeah, tree fitty. Oh, yeah. I get that door for you. You got it? Okay. Oh, oh, look at this hunting. gorgeousness. Man of God. Oh, my man of God. Yeah, so simple. And then just that little bit of spinach I reserved um, for the top is just nice. It's kind of like Coloratura, you know? Yeah, a little reminder of what's inside, a little bit of freshness, because I don't really want to add any more flavors here. I've got tarragon, I've got spinach, I've got lemon, I've got enough bold flavors. And then, of course, Jeezy, because you're here, some pecorino. So lucky. Gonna Why go we get along? Right. Oh, hey, that's good luck. Is it? Yep. Yeah. Okay, like pigeons. Chat. All right, and then all that's left to do is taste. 
Of course, you always want the one on the end. It's yeah, kind of like the edge right of the there. lasagna, right? I got my man a god spoon over there in the dressing room. You want me to grab it? Or? I do. Oh, oh look at that. It's so long. Looks too. like an Italian canoe. <laughs> oh, my God. That's the canoe sound? Um, and then we just dig in. Oh, no. I love the end where it's kind of crispy and baked. Sorry. Still in a kayak tasting. Mm. So good. I want to I go to eat it. Ricotta, the lemon, it. the cheese, oh, the spinach. There's enough flavor. There's not so much that you don't really taste every distinct bite. I'm gonna just sit here and eat this whole thing.